Welcome back. So let's create our project now on the Mac. And what we're going to do is we have, when we start the Mac, we have the start page and here there's something called new project. And I'm just going to press that one. Um, in here, I'm going to select console application, the top one, not the core web API. I will do that later on. So that's what I'm going to pick here and I'll say next. Now the project name, I'm going to name it the same as I did on the Windows, console app one, the solution, I'm going to call that first core solution and the location is going to be um, inside documents slash work slash C sharp again you can put it wherever you want that's just what I like to work with I'll create the project directory within the solution directory I used github they just decide to put git directly so I'll use a git for version control and I'll add a git ignore file that's pretty important that'll add some essential git ignore information we'll get back to that later let me not dive into that right now I'll say create and we'll give it a few seconds to actually get up and running so the project is now created and just like on the Windows machine we now have the solution explorer over here on the right side and in here I can open it and open my first C sharp file which is the program CS file right here. And that will pop up now with the actual code that we saw inside the windows as well. Let's try and see if we can zoom this a bit. Control plus or command plus, sorry, to actually zoom. And now we have the code back. Now you know where the solution explorer is hidden. You know where the actual file is available. Now we just need to try just like on the windows to actually launch this. So I'll press the small play button up here, that's actually how you launch. It's going to build some code behind the scenes to actually make it run on the Mac. After this is done, I'm going back to the Windows machine because most of my students, they work on Windows. So that's just normal for me to work with Windows uh, for these guys. But now you can actually do the same code that we're doing here on the Windows machine if you want to later on. So right now it's building the console app. You can see that right here in the center. And hopefully soon it'll pop up and show you guys the actual application. So after a bit of time, it pops up with something like this console application where it says hello world. Press any key to continue. Let's just, just to show you guys, this is actually console right line, hello world. So that's how we prove that we are actually up and running. I'll just press any key and it'll shut down everything. Process is complete. I can shut down the window and my program is shut down again. See you in the next lesson where we'll switch back to the Windows machine and we'll start actually creating some real code. Have fun.